I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a video to help understand how to identify angles in parallel lines when they are cut with transverse. Now here we are given a figure you need to calculate the angle x, y and z. You are given angle of 50 degrees and 60 degrees. You can pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Now what we see here is a set of parallel lines and two transverse lines. You can identify a Z pattern here. Do you see that one? So Z pattern gives you interior alternate angles. So what we give, get here is alternate angles. And these ones are interior alternate angles, right? They are always equal. Therefore, Z, this angle, should be equal to 50 degrees, correct? That becomes 50 degrees. Now, the other angle given to us is 60 degrees. And vertically opposite angle should be 60 degrees, right? So, you could do like this. Once you get that, you can find X. The other way to find X is that you can see that Y and 60 degrees given to us are corresponding angles, right? So these are called corresponding angles and corresponding angles are always equal. So Y, this angle should be equal to 60 degrees, right? So because they are corresponding angles. So these ones are equal since they are having similar position. Do you see that? So under this line, they have similar position and therefore they are equal. And the pattern they make is kind of an F, right? So this is an F structure. You see this kind of an F. So look for these patterns to figure out equal angles, right? Now, once you get 60 degrees and 50 degrees on a straight line, X is 180 minus these two. So you could find X either from this calculation or from the triangle calculation, correct? So the value of x should be, let's take linear pair. So the straight line is called linear, right? So linear angle is equals to 180 degrees, the sum. So x should be equal to 180 degrees, take away 50 and also take away 60, right? So that is 110, you can use calculator to find the answer, you get 70 degrees. Now here is a check. Check for you is that within a triangle, what is the sum of angles? It should be 180. So you can add 70, 60 and 50 and check, you'll find this is 180 degrees. So that ensures that the calculations which you have done are perfectly fine. I am Anil Kumar and I hope that helps you to quickly get the correct angles. Thank you and all the best.